And about 1953, I went down New Orleans. Perhaps I should say many years ago. It was in the summertime. I went down there with Frank, Guy. We sang and bust our way through the Smoky Mountains and on down to New Orleans. While we were down there, we, we had the name of a fellow to look up. Billy Thayer was a five-string banjo picker. Lived in a house called 912 Toulouse Street. And the way we found him, well, that was a whole nother song. Just say we found Billy Fair and it took us over there to 912 Toulouse Street. The only entrance I knew to this place is over a back fence up, a, up an alley. Went over a fence. Buy some garbage cans. And, out for that rusty nail now you're up now you're over and there was a cement over patio on a pave of concrete with a banana tree in the middle of it Well, I never did see no banana, bananas hanging on it. As they said, it was a banana tree. And a wooden staircase leading up to a wooden balcony that connected all the various different musicians, different various pads. And a gray cat with three legs named Gray. that used to lope along and fall down because uh, Gray, he had a stroke and couldn't run too good on them three legs, no how. It was very hot there and humid in August, what with the wind coming off the Mrs. Miller River by the Jack's Brewery. And around towards sundown, the weather broke into a tropical rainstorm. And the rain came. And there was this girl there that had once been an ex-ballet dancer and she took all her clothes off and danced around in the rain, around the banana tree, around and around, and I followed suit. Till the rain stopped and so naturally everybody ran indoors and we sat around drinking Billy Ferris wine and getting acquainted till it was almost 
sun up. And as day started breaking, everybody started splitting over that back alley fence, which was the only entrance I ever knew to that place. And I split too. Stayed around three weeks in New Orleans. Never did see the light of day. been back. Did you ever stand and shiver Just because you were looking at a river 